Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade Autograph First Round Edition Football Jerseys. Series 10. 10 jerseys, all first rounders, and some of them are uh, officially licensed as well, which should be pretty awesome. One spot gets you two teams, and of course our, um, our non-pro college uniform rules apply. So you know, obviously if it's Trevor Lawrence, it's going to go to the team that he's currently on. The Jaguars. If they're retired, we'll go. Uh, we'll go by ProFootballReference.com, um, and just whatever team they played for the longest using games. I guess we'll just keep going the columns over on ProFootballReference.com if we need any tiebreakers. I don't think we'll run into that situation too much, but just full disclosure. Big thanks to everyone here. Big thanks to everybody who bought their spot straight up. Thanks for taking the risk on the uh, filler as well. Congrats again to the winners. Likes for mix a lot. We're doubling you up. All 32 teams are in. There will be a chance for you to make some trades as well. Let's roll it. Randomize it. Two and a two. Hard four. One, two, three. Fourth and final time. Got Karen down to Nick. Two and a two. Four the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, and four. Packers down to Bills. Remember, they're all first rounders, according to Hit Parade. So, before you trade players away, Karen with the Packers, Allen with the Cardinals, Carl with the Chiefs, Karen with the Giants, Gale with the Jags, Allen with the Saints, Brian Hayes with the Niners, Brian Croft with the Dolphins, Peter with the Lions, Brian Croft with the Bengals, Tom with the Boys, Chad with the Colts, Kevin, Eagles, Travis with the Texans, Carl with the Broncos, Brian Croft with the Browns, Nick. With the Panthers, Kevin with the Jets, Brian Hayes with the Steelers, Steve with the Bears, Allen with the Seahawks, Travis with the Ravens, Gale with the Pats, Carl with the Titans and the Rams, Allen, you got my Raiders, Brian with the Falcons, Tom with the Chargers, Steve with the Vikings, Chad with the Buccaneers, Peter with the Washington football team, and Nick with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Sort by column B. And there you go. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. Sorry, I was distracted by the Brewers uh, at Atlanta game right now. Brewers up 4-2. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here on Tuesday the 12th. So big thanks once again to everybody here. Popped in the new toner. Look how crisp that looks. Looks nice. Thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Appreciate it. So it ended up being Brian Croft. One spot gets you two. With last spot mojo, Bengals and Falcons. As we like to say, last spot mojo 70% of the time. Last spot mojo hits 100% uh, of the time. So let's see how those numbers work out. So I've got the case. You can kind of see it just right where my hand is floating right there. We're gonna keep pulling boxes over here and popping them on the table. And we'll see what's inside. Put your thinking caps on. And we're gonna see, uh, play America's favorite game, Who Am I? I'm gonna give you some clues. Make some guesses. Who am I? So you can see here, the sticker right there is this first round edition, series 10, hand number 99 out of 100. Now since we've got a lot of boxes to do, we'll keep the, uh, we'll keep the Who Am I relatively, relatively quick, simple, yeah. easy to guess for bragging rights. All right, so first one, I think we've got, is that an, an officially licensed jersey? It is, it's a Nike jersey. All 
Uh, remember, these are all first rounders, so this should be pretty easy. I'm an active quarterback in the NFL. Six foot one, two fifteen, from uh, from Austin, Texas. Played at Texas Tech, or was at Texas Tech for one season in 2013 before moving on to Oklahoma. That should give it away. Heisman Trophy winner as well. And uh, in my relatively short career, 77 touchdowns to 45 interceptions, over 12,000 yards. Who am I? And who has that team right there, that person? There you go. Kevin M's got it. It's Baker Mayfield. And Brian Croft has the, uh, with the spot that he won, has the Cleveland Browns. There, there's the Mayfield. There's the Beckett sticker, the card, and there's his autograph right on the middle of his number right here. This is a Nike jersey. So I will take this out just to show you. The custom jerseys are somewhat... A little plain, but the officially licensed jersey obviously has the dog pound on the collar, the Nike size tag, the Nike swoosh on the left side, the NFL shield in the middle. Cleveland, this is for you. This is for you. Got all the got all the uh, retail tags on here as well. Nice, right, so congrats, Brian. Um, I'm also gonna fold this up a much more nicely as I'm done with this break. Let's put the autograph down there. But congrats to Brian Croft. With our first, uh, our first autograph jersey, our first first rounder. Next. Good luck. Ooh. That loads the bases. All right. And who are you? All right, who am I? I'm an active wide receiver who played uh, played college at a major university, and I was awarded the Fred Bolitnikoff Award winner as the nation's best wide receiver as a sophomore in 2018 and was drafted 15th overall. Who am I? Career 58 receptions, 928 receiving yards, and currently on the IR, unfortunately. And a pretty nice season, rookie season last year. And was looking to be maybe pretty decent in his second year, but... But cut short a little bit, IR. Who am I? Not Clyde Edward Delaire, Rex. He's a running back. It's a wide receiver. Drafted in 2020. So last year. In the middle of the first round out of Alabama. El Guapo's got it. Jerry Judy. In his college gear. So this is just a custom jersey. We're just going to leave it in the bag. It'll just be the red color and the, there'll be no official licensing and stuff like that there. But there's his last name. Jerry Judy. There's his number. And there's the autograph. And the Beckett sticker right down here too. 
Denver Broncos, my rivals. That's going to go to Carl. And I think Jerry Judy and Henry Ruggs, former college teammates, will probably, probably be connected together for the rest of their careers because there was that debate. Henry Ruggs went to my Raiders, of course. Who's going to be the better receiver? Who should have been picked ahead of who will be the conversation. All right. Next box. Let's see. Braves have the bases lower in the bottom of the fifth. Just one out. Jocktober? No. Is that the inning-ending double play? Ah, uh, Jocktober. No, but he sprints through the bag. So that does score a run. Jocktober, an RBI. All right. All right, who am I? Let's see. Played college football for a few seasons, totaled over 5,500 all-purpose yards in my three-year collegiate career, finished fourth in Heisman Trophy voting, third in Maxwell Award voting, and received multiple national and Big Ten conference awards and recognition. Broke numerous records in college and selected second overall. And as a rookie, had over 1,300 rushing yards and was named NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year, got a Pro Bowl nod. If I'm healthy, I'm pretty darn good, but rolled an ankle pretty bad, pretty badly, uh, I think, last week. This is his college gear, too. Who am I? Yes, Kevin M's got it. Saquon Barkley. In his Penn State gear. There's the JSA. His number, Barkley, the card as well. And that's Karen Steele with the uh, with the New York Football Giants with Big Blue. And there's his autograph. Man, if he just stays healthy, and it looks like and they've also, this custom jersey also has some other stuff on it too. Which is pretty cool. Ah, nice. I like when they do this. They'll highlighting some of his uh, highlighting some of his uh, highlights in his career, in his college career. Next box. And I think we, if you, if you like this sort of, uh, this live memorabilia type stuff, I think Nick just posted a, uh, an, a autographed helmet break, a full-size autographed helmet break on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check that out. Next up. Uh, Travis Darnold with a hit in an RBI tied up again. All right, who am I? Active wide receiver in the National Football League, drafted fifth overall. Played for one team my entire career. Also a Fred Bolitnikoff Award winner in 2019, a national champion in 2019. I don't know. Let's see. What else? Uh, unanimous All-American. 
led uh, the the football bowl subdivision, the FBS, in receiving yards and touchdowns en route to a national champion in 2019, championship in 2019. Drafted fifth overall after sitting out the 2020 season. And reunited with his uh, former college quarterback, too. Reunited and it feels so good. This is in his college gear as well. Not Higgins, no, exactly. Jamar Chase, you got it, Kevin. Has a nice big bold autograph right on his number. That's that's nice. That's how you sign these numbers, everyone. Pay attention, football players. This appears to be, yeah, this is a a custom jersey, Jamar Chase. Nice. So Bengals, that's Brian Croft with the Bengals. Last spot mojo strikes again. 70% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. <laughs> Thanks, Bryn. So Brewers, Braves, 4-4. Four, four. Going back and forth a little bit here. All right, next one. This looks like a officially licensed jersey. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. All right, another active wide receiver. Let's see. Drafted in the uh, in the first round, these are all first rounders, obviously. Drafted in the first round, fourth overall. Played college football in uh, at Georgia. In my first season with the team that drafted me, I made the 2012 Pro Bowl, becoming the first rookie receiver to make a Pro Bowl appearance in eight years, and then went on to accumulate a total of seven Pro Bowl appearances throughout my career. From 2011 to 2013, I've caught more passes, 260, than any other player in NFL history during their first three seasons. A record that was only later broken by Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham Jr., both tied at 288. Six seasons with 1,000 or more receiving yards. Played for one team for my entire career until this season, where I moved on to the, uh, moved on to the Arizona Football Cardinals. That should give it away. I left this team ranked second in franchise history, only behind Chad Johnson in receiving yards, receiving touchdowns, and receptions. Who am I? Not Julio. He left the Bengals. Ranked second in franchise history, only behind Chad Johnson. So second in franchise history in receiving yards, touchdowns, and receptions with the Cardinals now. Went from a cat team to a bird team. That's right, Kevin. And Travis. A.J. Green. So that's a back-to-back -back bangles for Brian Croft. Last spot mojo really paying off here. There's the Beckett card, the Beckett sticker, and his autograph. Nice, bold autograph right there. He's a vet. He knows how to sign things. And this looks like an a officially licensed jersey. Let's take a look. Yeah, an officially licensed jersey. So you got all the retail tags right here. The Nike swoosh on the side, the tiger stripes, the number on the shoulders, all very cool. There's another look at the auto again. All right, Brian, I'll fold this back up nicely.
at the end of the break. But congrats again. All right, next box. Jersey, it's his college jersey. All right, who am I? Retired player this time, a retired linebacker from uh, Ole in New York, was 6'3, 235. He's 57 years old now. All first rounders, was eighth overall, played for two teams my entire career, the Bills and the Rams. Looks like I played for the Bills the longest, so this is going to go to you, Nick T. Um, he was a AP NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year in the late 80s, three-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro, part of the Bills 50th Anniversary Team, a Fiesta Bowl Defensive MVP in 1987, a Consensus All-American and College Football Hall of Famer, went to Penn State. Who am I? He won two national championships with Penn State in 82 and 86. During my career at Penn State, had uh, 274 tackles, including a school record 186 solo tackles. What's he doing now? After football, since my retirement, worked for Smark Inc. as the company's vice president of commercial real estate in 2013, named the Pittsburgh Powers vice president of corporate sponsorships, Pittsburgh Power uh, Arena football team. Who am I? So, old school guys. So that's Nick T with the Bills. It's in his Penn State gear. Tallery, not Tallery, Dave. It's Shane Conlin. I don't know how many of you remember a Shane Conlin, but here he is. There's his autograph. There's Conlin right there. There it is, college jersey. And a custom jersey as well. Played for the Bills from 87 to 92 and then played with the Rams for a couple seasons. He was one of those uh, LA to St. Louis, one of, the, one of those, he was part of that transition. Nick T. Buffalo! All right, more. We got one, two, three, four more to go. who we have here. Another custom jersey. I think another retired player. Yeah. Retired, um, retired wide receiver from Griffin, Georgia. I'm 61 years old now. Six foot, 178. That's my playing days. Height, weight. Went to Griffin High School, went to college in Tennessee, and was picked 18th overall in the early 80s. Played for two teams my entire career. Was a Super Bowl champion in Super Bowl XX. And an All-American in the early 80s. Finished my career with 333 receptions, 6,635 receiving yards, 44 touchdowns, and 45 kickoff returns for over 1,000 kickoff return yards. Who am I? And this is in, in his pro uniform. 
the team that drafted me, this uniform. But he played my Raiders from the late 80s to the early 90s, from 88 to 93. Who am I? Considered one of the fastest NFL players of all time. Also a member of the U.S. Olympic team that boycotted the 1980 Olympics. Led the Vols in all-purpose yards as a sophomore, junior, and senior. Named All-American team in 1982. Still holds numerous school kickoff re return records. And I guess he's currently pursuing a career as an actor? Not Cliff Branch. I think you're kind of on the right track. In the early 90s, I retired in the early 90s and is pursuing an acting career in Hollywood, P portrayed Willie the Sweeper in the NBC series The Pretender, also had an appearance on the sitcom Still Standing, playing himself as the father of a friend, few appearances in Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide, um, I was also in MTV's Parental Control, was in an episode of Friday Night Lights. Who am I? Don't cheat. No, no, no cheat. Don't, don't be like that, Rex. No, this is this is using using your brain. I don't know if anyone's really gonna get this. I kind of mentioned the name really quick. It's um, Willie Galt. In his Bears gear. There's his autograph. There's the JSA sticker. I'm sure the card's in here somewhere. There it is. There's Galt right there. This is a custom jersey in the uh, in those Bears colors. Pretty cool. Old school Bears receiver. Fast dude. Chicago Bears. That's going to be for Steve Wright and the Bears. jerseys to go let's see what's in the next and follow hit parade all right who do we have here this looks like another officially licensed jersey i think it is i think who is it? oh that's that's you okay that's you active an active quarterback. Who am I? 33 years old from Big Spring, Texas. He's 6'4", 217. Went to college at Texas A&M and was an eighth overall pick. Played for the team that drafted me. Played for them for six seasons or so before going to his current team, which is the color of the jersey here. I was an NFL Comeback Player of the Year award winner in 2019. Went to the Pro Bowl in 2019 and was an NFL passer rating leader in 2019. I've got a career 179 touchdowns to 89 interceptions, over 27,000 passing yards and a passer rating of 91.8. Went to college at A&M. Who am I? I think this might have been a. I think this might have been a tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo situation. Let me scroll up a little bit. Yeah, tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo. Any guesses? I was named, uh, when I went to my other team, I was named starting QB for this team in week seven of the 2019 season. 
and then ended up taking this team to the AFC Championship game, where they lost to uh, where my team lost to the eventual Super Bowl champs, the Kansas City Chiefs. He was with the Dolphins, drafted him eighth overall. I think they eventually traded him and they drafted another quarterback. Wait, no, they traded him. Who? Wait, no, they didn't trade him for that person. Who did they trade him for? Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm on the Wikipedia page. This is all according to Wikipedia. So if there's anything inaccurate, you can blame Wikipedia. Not Alex Smith, Rebel and Jason. So in March 2019. The Dolphins traded me and a six-round selection in the 2019 draft to the, my current team in exchange for a fourth-round selection of the 2020 draft. There you go. Travis has got it. Ryan Tannehill. I thought people would have gotten that a lot, a lot more quickly. This is a Fanatics authenticated jersey. You can see the card and the sticker. His autograph is right on top of the seven. This is, yeah, this is an officially licensed Nike jersey. So let's take a look at these because the officially licensed jersey is definitely worth looking at. I think the tight, ooh, got some stars on the collar right there. There's the, the Nike laundry tag. You got the NFL shield and Titans right up front, which I think looks really sharp. Ooh, the, the shoulders, the gray shoulder caps look really cool. Got the, the laundry tag on the bottom right there. Very cool. Uh, Carl with the Titans. Tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. And I'll, I'll fold this up nicely at the end of the video. Didn't want the Titans. Tried to trade him. No offers. There you go, Carl. Two more to go. So we've, out of the 10, so far we've had three officially licensed jerseys. Those look pretty sharp. <laughs> right now I'm saying the QB with the hot wife. All of them. All the QBs. All right. Who, am, who are you? Let's take a look. This is a custom jersey. All right, who am I? America's favorite game. Let's look you up. I am a retired, um, a retired running back. Was a late first round pick in the early 90s. Was born in Houston, Texas, went to college at Georgia, played for one team my entire career, was a two-time pro, pro bowler, a Super Bowl champion, and a Florida, Georgia Hall of Famer, and in my career with uh, almost 7,000 rushing yards, 49 touchdowns. Not Emmett Smith. This person only played for one team entire career. Was the starting running back for this championship team in the early 90s. And this team finished 13-3 and during the regular season, won the Super Bowl. Super Bowl XXV. Six foot, 215 pound running back. Broke the thousand yard mark each year from 91 to 95. Almost uh, signed with the, with the Niners. Almost signed with the Niners, but stayed with this team. Not Davis, was drafted 24th overall in 1990 and won that Super Bowl in the uh, in that 1990 season where my team beat the uh, the bills 20 to 19 not sure the Wikipedia page is not very huge it doesn't doesn't really say uh, what he's doing these days. Who am I? Not 
not Anderson. It is, I don't know how many of you remember, I, I don't remember Rodney Hampton. Remember Rodney Hampton? There's his autograph right there. There's the JSA sticker. The card is right there. Pretty solid running back for a good chunk of time. New York Football Giants, that's going to be for Karen and the Giants. All right, last jersey coming up. Let's see what we're going to close out with. Another custom jersey and another retired player. All right, who am I? These are all first rounders, of course. I was sixth overall in my draft class in the late 80s. Played for two teams my entire career, but really just one. I only played one one season with the uh, team that I retired with, a two-time Pro Bowler, a NFL receptions co-leader in the late 90s, so like almost 10 years after I was, uh, I was drafted, nine-time Pro Bowler, part of the 90s All-Decade team, was also a Heisman Trophy Award winner, and I think I just only just recently got in the, uh, the Hall of Fame. All right, no, it was a little while ago, 20, uh, 2015. I thought it was a little more recently, but after a, after a long while, finally got into Hall of Fame. Had a career, 1,094 receptions, um, almost 15,000 receiving yards, and exactly 100 receiving touchdowns. Pro Football Hall of Famer, College Football Hall of Famer. And uh, this should give it away. Went to high school in Dallas, went to college at Notre Dame. Notre Dame, Heisman Trophy winning wide receivers in the late 80s. He's pretty good. One of my favorite players. A lot of records, too. Yep, Jim and uh, Ico has got it. Tim Brown for my Raiders. Big fan of Tim Brown. There it is, Tim Brown. Got a, got some nice penmanship. All the old school guys have nice penmanship. The young kids don't. I blame texting. There's the uh, Beckett sticker right there. It's just a custom jersey. It says there's T Brown right there. Wish it was an, an officially licensed one, but still very cool. Nice way to end it. Um, that goes to the Raiders, Alan Murdoch with the Las Vegas Raiders. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was a pretty fun break. Hit Parade autographed first round edition football jerseys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'll see you next time for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.